what's up guys Kings Reaper here uh, I'm gonna be doing a quick guide on presets and how to use them correctly but before we get into the presets you have a requirement and that is that inside your hideout you need to upgrade your workbench to level 1 so your workbench is gonna be right here and inside of it you can start producing other stuff so for example you can produce these power cords or you can produce from power cords eight wires which you will also use in your hideout but for presets you will have to upgrade your workbench to level one and to upgrade your workbench to level one you're gonna need two screw nuts two bolts and one leatherman multi-tool um, also there's gonna be another requirement and the other requirement is that you reach level 10 with your character because this will unlock flea market to you so flea market is as you may already know like a black market where, pe where people sell their guns gear air pretty much whatever they find inside a raid and the reason why you're gonna have to have it unlocked is because otherwise you won't be able to search for the components. Now, what I mean by that is, basically, if you have a gun, for example, let's say this SA-58, you right click on it, you can mod it from your inventory directly, but it won't show you any viable, viable mods for it. The reason for it is because you don't have any of the mods in your inventory. So, how do we use it properly? You basically have to go on your weapon, right click and edit preset. Once you get inside here and you use the sliders, now you will be offered a variety of weapon attachments. So for example, this SA-58 we can modify. For example, we are going to change from regular dust cover to extreme duty, which will give us an option to put a scope on it or sight, whatever you prefer. So let's say we're gonna put a HAMR Leopard on it. And we're gonna put also a DP sight. So for close range and longer range engagements as well. Uh, we can also modify like a barrel or uh, the end of the gun. So we can put, for example, a DT mount and hybrid 46 silencer. After we do that, you have your gun set the way you like, the way you feel is going to be the best, but what I missed as someone who started playing World uh, Escape of Tarkov is very important part of this whole thing, and that is find parts. So now that I have, let's say, this SA-58 modified, I can click directly on find parts. And... At the beginning it's all gonna be blacked out like you won't be able to buy them but there's another thing you need to do when you get here you need to go into the settings of your search once you're there you need to change from traders to any and click show only functional items hit ok and now you're gonna get a list of all the items and mods that are currently on the preset that we just made now for example we won't need this pistol grip because it's already on the gun. We won't need the mag. Let's say we got them already. We won't need a foregrip. We won't need the barrel. But extreme duty dust cover is something that we changed and we do need. We won't need a stock. We won't need a gun itself. So what we need are sights, silencer, mount for the silencer, and dust cover. And now here under you can see exactly how much it costs so, so this build would be around 260,000 rubles if I would buy it off of the flea market so I momentarily won't buy it immediately since I am not going to upgrade the gun right now but that way you can easily get to what you want to build the guns how you like them how you want them and not search for endless amounts of time like I did in the beginning while I was trying to figure out the guns. Also, let's uh, let's do something else, and that is, I can also open my presets. So let's say I like this gun, I can save the preset. Um, so for instance, I have saved preset for one of my favorite guns, and that is SKS. So I'm gonna open this preset, 
I'm gonna dis discharge all the changes. And this is how I usually run my SKS. And every time I die, I would have to go, I or at least I used to do it. I used to go on the market and each time over and over again, search for each component separately. While now I realized like eh, quite late, but I realized you can simply open your preset, find parts, go again into settings, show only functional, any, okay. And there you go, boom, all the components you need. So you can buy specifically just one or you can buy all of them. It's up to you. And the good part also about this is that you can't go wrong with the components. Now, what I mean by that is, for example, we're gonna open up an SVD preset. So this is how I ran my SVD last wipe before the game got completely reset to zero. For example, now I would like to change certain component, let's say here, but it says immediately that I cannot install both SVD CS and SVD LB at the same time. So what this means is as long as I don't get rid of this component, I won't be able to put this one back on. That way you won't have to search manually. That way you won't make a mistake of searching each and uh, every item itself. But once you're done with your preset, when you're satisfied with what you've done, you simply go find parts, settings, show only functional, any, okay. And boom, there you go. You got all your components. You just click buy what you need. Perhaps you'll have some components already, so you won't need everything. You can also deselect what you don't need hit down here, purchase all, and that's gonna be it. After you've purchased all your components, there is also gonna be one more button here, which is called assemble. Now, for example, let's use the SKS that I have here. So I won't be buying all the components from zero. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, and a scope. So let's say that I'm editing this one. I can go Again, edit preset, open my own preset for the gun. This is how it's supposed to look. And now I can go assemble, select the gun, select. So it says, I don't have these components. I'm just gonna go and say, ignore. Why are you bullying me? <laughs> You fucking bitch, why you bullying me? Everyone asking. Let's do it again. Edit preset, open. My SKS. Yes. Assemble. SKS. How am I having what? Must be uninstalled and located in inventory. They are in inventory. What? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Now it works. Anyway, so if you bought just an SKS with any of these mods, once you hit that purchase all button for the components that you need, you can always just hit that button right here. Assemble and your gun is automatically going to be assembled inside your inventory. So then you can equip it to your char character, to your PMC and just hit the raid. Thanks for watching guys. This was a very short episode, but I hope it helps. Please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification button if you want to get more videos of me. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.